recreating some spring outfits, shopping in New York City, some fabulous finds, and are you shopping this for a sale? Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Shakura, and I believe that when you feel good, you look good. So on this channel, I show you how to take fashion and use it as a tool to help you look and feel your best. So it's spring. Just popping in real quick to tell you guys that this video is going back to how we used to do video simply because I'm trying new things and it takes a little bit more time to plan when I try on outfits, etc, etc. So today is going to be what we used to do, but it will not always be like this. In fact, the next video I think I'm doing a try on. So yes, just hold tight. I know you like the other way better. I appreciate every time you watch. It's time for flowers my allergies <laughs> and trench coats. We're gonna start off with Tracy, who in my opinion, never misses. And this is just like a truly laid back, casual and put together outfit. In fact, I would 100% wear this, even though oftentimes my style is much different than Tracy's. I can always find something within an outfit, um, and sometimes the whole outfit, that I would absolutely love to wear. I would wear all of this. I would probably use my debt just a little bit to change the sneakers. Everything else, in my opinion, is a fabulous outfit to run around and do some errands. So if you watch this video, you know that I am on the hunt for a trench coat. And now that I'm looking at this picture, I feel like I not only want a long trench coat, but I also want a crop one. And as I did some research, they are all over the place. The first one I found is this one from Banana Republic Factory, which very often has a lot of good deals and sales. Um, and I love Banana Republic as well, but Banana Republic Factory is easier on our pockets, right? Mango, Cause, ASOS, all has crop trench coats options that looks very similar to what Tracy is wearing. Then the white pants, I don't believe are linen, but I can't see that closely, but I'm sure linen would work if, you know, depending on where you live and the weather. But the pants I found from Cotton On, Everlane, and The Gap all would work just fine with this outfit. I like that they're baggy, but not too baggy. Just the perfect fit and length for a running around cozy outfit. I'm not 100% sure um, what sneakers she has on, but I feel like these new balances would work very well with this outfit. They also come in different colors if that's your thing. And I feel like it just really kind of works, right? Speaking of sneakers, you guys look at these silver and white Jordan 1s. Remember I told you I had the blazers, but um, they were kind of tight on my feet and I wanted to wear them with my silver Dior bag? Yeah. So instead of the blazers, I got the Jordan 1s to wear with like a blazer, some straight leg or baggy jeans, and my Dior bag. Done. I'm going to show you because I'm probably going to wear it. I'm going to show you and it's just uh, so cute. I thought that this outfit was very laid back, very right now. Um, but kind of cool girl, but really put together. <laughs> like that's a lot to describe it. Elements of it, like a t-shirt and you know, some khakis uh, are very, um, for lack of a better word, regular. <laughs> but the shape of the pants and the overall outfit as a whole um, gives it a little more interest. Because the pants are flowy, because the t-shirt is not restrictive and kind of oversized, it gives it another look um, that is a little more modern. So I thought this was the perfect outfit for people that don't like to overthink, but also really wanna look together and actually in my opinion, kind of cool. When using your deck, I feel like one of the things that's important to recreate this outfit is the fit. And while I couldn't find pants that were exactly like this, there are a few things um, or a few pants that I found that will give you a similar look. These pants from Forever 21, though they are a different um, color, they give you a very similar vibe in the cut of the pants. These from Everlane, which are probably a better quality, um, are linen and just fabulous. And then these from Nordstrom, if you like the idea of a wide leg but don't want them to be 
too exaggerated, these will do. And as far as a great t-shirt, there are so many ways to find a great t-shirt, but I will implore you to size up a bit just to get this kind of vibe. Calls and Everlane have a great t-shirt, but this one from Skims allows you to tuck it in and to have a little more playroom with the shirt, right? Because if you notice, it's not only oversized, but it's tucked in and it has a little extra fabric. Choose your favorite brown belt, any of these will do. And there you have a very simple, put together, very relaxed, extremely modern, cool girl type of outfit. That was a lot of words. <laughs> Speaking of cool girl, this is something that um, is very interesting to me, probably something I would never wear, but also there's something so interesting about this, right? The difference between um, the preppiness of the loafers and the socks, and then the very laid back um, aspect of the Yankee hat and then the Yankee cardigan. Do you know what I mean? Like it is a fantastic juxtaposition between preppy, but also type of laid back like a Yankee cardigan, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Cardigan says preppy to me, but anything that is sports related, any sports paraphernalia definitely reads laid back to me. So the combination of the two is genius to me. And then the addition of the Gucci, I believe this is a vintage Gucci bag. I would have never thought to put it together, but it all works so well together. So I believe, and I might be completely wrong, <laughs> but I believe that the cardigan that she is wearing is from Kith. And if it is, I'll leave it in the description box. But if that's not the case. And of course this hat is easy to find. I prefer mine to be a little more stiff. So I always go with um, this version. And Levi's, The Gap, H&M, all have a very slim pair of jeans um, that you can use to recreate this outfit if you don't have it in your closet already. And loafers all, all over the place, anywhere from Sam Edelman to Coach to Prada. As long as you find the right pair of fluffy socks, you're on your way. Now this one is a little bit more up my alley. I love a flowy white linen situation during the spring and summer. Again, it's oversized. Also, the cut of the pants makes it very modern, very right now. Find something like this. Dish is one of my favorites. Dish is always a great place to go to find very similar type of outfit. This whole outfit from H&M, though is not as structured as I would like it to be, because it doesn't look exactly like this outfit, would do just fine. This shirt works perfectly, paired with a great pair of wide leg um, linen pants. And this from Everlane and this one from Mango give a very similar vibe. All you need is an oversized straw bag. Any of these will do. And you're off, you're ready to go. Again, this is totally my vibe with some cool aviators, some laid back sandals. Oh, I love this. This is so me, so me, I love that. And then if you are the type of person that is into leopard, as you know, leopard is anywhere right now because it could be worn so many ways. Um, I couldn't even pick one outfit for this because there were so many options of the way people are styling leopard. So I guess I just wanted to give you some basics um, and leopard print and then you could kind of work with it from there. So Bloomingdale's and Nordstrom have a good pair of leopard pants that would work with any of these looks. Mango, these printed pants are not leopard, but can be used in a very similar way um, if you are just a person that cannot stand leopard. And as far as the skirt's concerned, you have Bloomingdale's, Mango, ASOS, and Ghani all have leopard skirts that you can use. If you are a little more rocker chic and you would pair your leopard um, pants or skirt with a band tee, there are so many out there. Whether it's Outkast or Blink-182, there are plenty of options, whatever the band, whatever band tee you wanna add, right? You wanna use the sandwich method and use it as a neutral like this person with the red 
another great option. These red Adidas or these red sneakers would work perfectly with this outfit and Bloomingdale's, Nordstrom and Revolve all have great options for a red bomber. I think this is super cool. But you have to have a certain type of flair and personality to make this work and I really feel like she made this work. So many options, I'm sure I put a lot on the screen, <laughs> just to give you some spring ideas. So I am actually going to London in about two weeks. By the time this video is up, it might be about one week. Um, but there's a few things that I'm looking for. I don't wanna overpack, I'm not buying all new things because by the time I get home, hopefully it will be warming up. <laughs> but there are a few things that I need to go find and we are going to go shopping in New York City to find a few things for my trip to London. telling you guys about trying to get more into art and you all gave me some fantastic suggestions someone suggested that I go to the exhibit in the Brooklyn Museum and since I live in Brooklyn I thought that was an easy way to start my art journey it's always a journey women always have a journey a hair journey a skin journey anyway I thought that was a perfect way to start and we're on our way I'm 100% sure that I have seen a picture of my mama with this hairstyle on the left. I mean, a time was had. So that was great. It was hard to talk. You know, I like to talk to you guys during, you know, whatever activity I'm doing. But they were playing music. I don't cop get a copyright strike, blah, blah, blah. But a few things of note. I think it was important, or I think it is important for me to start with our art that I can immediately connect with, right? That exhibit had a lot of African-American, some paintings from Jamaica, but a lot of different pieces of art from different parts of the diaspora and everything I kind of connected with. And I feel like it's important for me to start with something that I recognize, learn about it, learn to love it. And then hopefully I will be able to take what I have learned from my own culture and art <laughs> that I connect with and bring it to other cultures. So I don't know. I really connected with a lot of these pieces just because it just seemed familiar. Even the music they were playing was very um, familiar, something that my dad would listen to. They were playing um, Bet You Buy Golly Wow, right? <laughs> or something by the stylistics, something that really reminded me of being a kid. So anyway, I loved it. If you haven't gone to see it, I would totally say to check it out. So anyway, we're about to go into Manhattan. I told you guys that we are going to London. And there's a few things that we want to get. Not too much. I'm not buying too much. If I buy something, it might be there. Maybe, maybe not. But there are a few things like I need a trench coat. I need like some t-shirts. Little things like that. So we're going to go into Manhattan and I'm going to bring you along. Hopefully, I get to go to Poland if the line's not long and see that purse that I was telling you guys about in the last video.
this little jumpsuit is cute. Ah, uh, you can't really tell from this video, but trust me, it's cute. <laughs> This is such a pretty color. I wish something like this would look good on me. That color actually might. That is really pretty. So that Zara was much better than the last Zara I went to. Um, the jury's still out if I'm even going to be shopping at Zara, honestly. But to see the price difference between the U.S. and the U.K., I don't remember them putting that on the um, price tag all the time. Anyway, we are going to try to go into the Macy's Flower Show against my better judgment because I kind of feel like it's going to be extremely bad. And this might be a bad idea, but let's, let's go see how it looks. And yeah, this is probably not going to happen. This is too many people. I'll probably come see you on another day when there's less people. But uh, you guys get the idea, right? So I did not get to finish shopping the other day. So I came back out here to Soho and I just came here for Mango and Uniqlo. Somebody suggested that I get those little foldable um, jackets for London. So that's what we're here for. And then we'll go to Sephora because you know the sale, but let's go to Uniqlo. I think I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> let's go to Mango first and then we'll go to Uniqlo. Not to Uniqlo being right in front of me and being confused. You see that red sign? <laughs> That's Uniqlo. Let's go there first. Mango didn't have exactly what I was looking for, but they did have a few cute things. I'm just trying not to get sidetracked because I'm still looking for things for my trip. Um, went to go to Sephora over there, but I took a quick pick in there and peek in there, and it's a million people. So we're inside to go to a different Sephora. It's an absolutely beautiful day out here, so I don't mind traveling. So we're gonna go to a different Sephora. I'm probably gonna stop by Joe and Juice, get some juice. We're up. So we just, or I just came uptown to Midtown, this Sephora, because I didn't think it would be packed. And I was severely wrong. <laughs> the line is extremely long, so absolutely not. One of the best things about getting older, in my opinion, is one, not caring. <laughs> not caring what people think about a lot of things. And then two is being able to spend a little extra money. So because Sephora is so packed, 
I haven't decided to go home, order what I want to order, and have it one day delivered, and I'll show you guys then. It's like the older you get, you could pay for convenience, and I'm here for it. <laughs> so we're not going to Sephora, and I will show you guys what I get when it gets delivered. The other thing I want to talk about really quickly, because I have 14% battery life left. Hopefully I get this out before it dies. But I want to make clear to you all that my um, down-to-earthness and openness is not a sign of me being um, insecure, right? I feel like it is normal for us to have days where we feel like we look amazing. Like today, I feel like I look amazing. <laughs> like I said, my ponytail is ponytailing. Um, and there are those days that I don't. And I feel like being um, down to earth and normal and telling you guys, telling you guys certain things, like I don't feel comfortable wearing this right now, or this won't work for me right now. It doesn't mean that I don't think I look good. <laughs> I think most of us have days where we feel like we look amazing and some days we don't. And I also feel like most of us have insecurities, whether we want to display it or not. Um, if I was that insecure, I would not be doing YouTube. People will nitpick at you when you do YouTube. It's your voice. It's your glasses. It's your, I mean, if I was insecure, trust me, I would not be doing YouTube. But yeah, I don't want you to think that because I'm being real and I'm telling you guys these things, I'm really just trying, I'm just trying to make this a safe space for myself and anyone else who has these gripes. Like I said, I think it's completely normal. It is completely normal for us to have good days and bad days. And sometimes you're casting my good day, like today, today I have feel beautiful and so rude and some days I don't right that's all I wanted to say I don't want you guys to misconstrue that I think a lot of you were getting that a little confused and yes my my mind does have to kind of catch up with my weight loss it's I'm working on it if you're new here you don't know that not only do I have a degree in education I was a teacher and fashion but but I also have a degree in counseling and mental health services right so one of the things I can remember um, in my master's program, one of my professors telling me that it is okay to have feelings and no one feels great, particularly about themselves every single day. So I feel like I tried to model that in my videos and perhaps I need to tell you more when I feel good and less of when I don't. I'll try to give more of a balance. So that's what I'm telling you today. Today I feel good. <laughs> You don't see my hair? So anyway, I want to clear that up. I have 11% battery life. I'm going to try to run over here to cause, and then we'll go home and order what I want from Sephora sale. So the Sephora sale, again, is upon us. I don't want to overspend because I'm still working through what I have. But there are a few things that I do want. So, like I said, I came home, placed an order. I didn't get a lot. Some of the things I was unable to get because um, they didn't have it in my store to deliver. So I might end up having to go hmm, to Sephora anyway. But let me show you what I did order and what came just now. I've told you guys about these many times. I talk about them all the time. The extra strength daily peel pads from Dr. Dennis Gross. I actually meant to get the bigger box. So this is a mistake, but I won't return them. I'll either get another box of these or actually go back and get um, the bigger box. I keep these on hand. I've loved them forever. These are particularly good for my husband who doesn't want to do a whole long skincare routine. I give him these. He puts some moisturizer on and he's good to go. But between him and I, these are a staple in our household. I know that we have moved on to different foundations, but I told you guys before that this foundation is just something that will always be in my um, repertoire, right? I love NARS. I love the color match. I always find it so weird when people say they cannot find their color in NARS. NARS is the only place or the only a way that I found my exact color match. I was running dangerously low, so I had to re-up. This is something I would have gotten even if the sale wasn't happening. So yeah, the light reflecting foundation is my favorite and my staple. Speaking of favorite and staple, I have two mascaras, I only bought one. I usually get the It mascara that I love, but I am nowhere near done on that. And I don't like to have a lot of mascara um, just because I know they go bad. But this Gucci mascara, 
I don't know what they do to this and I really wish that I didn't like it, but I absolutely adore this mascara. I won't open it all the way because I want to finish the one that I have that's almost done. But if you haven't tried this, this is just like beautiful to me. I am not a lash girly. Um, I wish that I were because they just they just look so beautiful. But for, for day to day, and it may be on a special occasion, but for day to day, I usually just wear mascara. And between this and the It mascara, it has done me right. This was just an unfortunate one. My Dior lip oil in rose something. I forgot the exact color. But um, this is one of my favorites and I lost it. So I had to get it again. I think like, I feel like I dropped it on the subway. I heard something fall, but I was running for the train. Didn't want to miss it. And I feel like that's where my lip gloss went. So I had to re-up on that. I don't know where I've been for Pat McGrath, but uh, yeah, it's a little, if I'm being honest, it's a little sparkly. I don't like too many sparkles, but for some reason mixed with my um, other lip glosses or with a lipstick that I love, a nice matte lipstick. It works so nicely. I actually heard that Pat McGrath won't be in Sephora anymore. It'll just be in Ulta. Is that true? I hope that's not true because I shot more at Sephora. I wanted to show you these two. I have the name um, somewhere on the screen or in the description box just because I think that they are a good neutral type of gloss. And then I got these two masks that I happen to love. Before I go on a plane, I like to like moisturize my skin and really go in. I do everything to my skin so that I don't break out when I get to my destination. The air in the airplane is not the freshest and sometimes I break out. So I wanted to make sure that I moisturize with this. I won't be doing it on the plane. I will do it right before just to make sure um, that my skin is very moisturized. This um, cryo rubber moisturizing mask with hyaluronic acid and this one is not a moisturizing mask it's a brightening vitamin c but i also love this as well these are the two of the things that i buy over and over again after i do my red light mask and then i do one of these and then i moisturize it's just uh at nighttime perfect 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 i really wish and i might actually go back and buy a few more of these while the sale is still on speaking of hyaluronic acid the inky list is a really good one that's inexpensive that works really well i use it after and sometimes before my um before my red light mask you are not supposed to have any product on your face when you use a red light mask except for a hyaluronic acid in fact they sell um, some hyaluronic acid on the website that you can use right for just in case your face or your skin excuse me is sensitive so sometimes when i feel like my skin might be a little sensitive i put this on before my mask it's effective it's inexpensive one of my face and then i went ahead and got this tower 28 spray i've just been seeing it all over tiktok i got a very small one because i don't know if it's going to work or not and the reason why i got it is i saw somebody who was acne prone, who was going on a trip and sprayed this throughout their flight to keep their skin clean and bacteria free apparently. Again, I can't talk to any um, truth to that, but I will be trying it on our trip. In fact, I'll probably try this before we leave just in case something crazy happens to my face. There's nothing worse than being outside of the country or even outside of your city and you're not looking your best. I hate it. So I'm gonna actually try this before we leave. And last but not least, I always get these. These are Sephora cotton um, pads. I love them. They're everywhere. I have some on my vanity. I have some in my bathroom. I'm probably going to go and get another pack of these. I actually might do another haul if I have time. There's a few things that I missed. There are a few more things that I want to get. Not much. Anyway, those are the few things that I've got. Let me know if you are shopping the sale and if there's anything that I have missed out on. I have so much fun looking for things to show you guys. Like, I do a lot of window shopping. I do a lot of regular shopping too. But I do a lot of window shopping. So, so when I find something that excites me, I get so excited to show you guys. Here is this week's fabulous finds. So I don't feel like I have as much as I usually do this week because I'm planning and running around and doing a lot. But I do have a few things that I want to show you. You may have already heard of um, Arium, they have these beautiful earrings that you see a lot of people wear. The statement kind of clean girl earrings that are everywhere right now. And they have a bigger version, which is 
300 and something dollar but I was on the site and I realized that they have a very similar version for less than half the price these are like 150 maybe 160 dollars and they give a very similar vibe they are not as big but just as fabulous and gorgeous they are 24 karat gold gold plated so that would I guess explain some of the price but I think these are just kind of gorgeous and very on trend very ladylike very me I love these I actually showed you guys this bag before I actually have it in black and I went back to look for it in a different color because I used that black bag so much just from day to day it holds so much it's extremely comfortable and I realized that they not only have it in this beautiful brown color because that's the color I went to go see they also have it in suede um, with other options so I'm trying to figure out if I want a suede or the leather and if suede is more of a fall fabric I don't know but I just wanted to show you just in case um, you liked it different colors they have like a lighter cream color this kind of bag is very much on trend right now which is fabulous though right now I am freezing in New York City. It was beautiful earlier in the week. I am still thinking of warmer days. So this top from Madewell, I believe is linen and comes in various sizes. And it's just like a staple piece that you could throw on during the summer or even if the spring ever decides to warm up here <laughs> in New York City. Um, even the spring with some jeans and then in the summer with some linen pants or a denim skirt. Or some shorts it's just like a staple beautiful classy piece that will not go out of style I saw this on mango and I love the way that this is shaped the one shoulder the asymmetrical bottom the color it's like really sexy without being overtly sexy I love this I even love the way that it's styled with these white pants um, it could also honestly be worn with jeans or however you whatever you feel comfortable with but I would 100%, me personally, would 100% go with a pair of linen white pants. So gorgeous. You know, there is nothing worse to me than having to dress up and go to an office or work during the summer when you have to look a certain way and have on certain clothing and just be uncomfortable in the heat and the humidity. So when I saw this from and other stories, I thought it was a decent option for those that are in the office every day during the summer where you can look professional, but also be hopefully kind of comfortable and cool. I believe this is made out of linen. While I am off to London in a few short days, and I know it's not going to be warm, <laughs> my mind is so much, it's like I said, so much in um, a warmer state. It's just, oh, I'm ready to be out with my legs out and my arms out and a pair of cool sunglasses right so i've been looking at straw bags and um summer bags and this one from any other stories would be just a perfect addition to what i'm looking for it's big enough to hold everything that i need for the beach etc and i could hold it in my hand or i could put it over my shoulder i am so ready for warmer days speaking of woven bags this one from any other stories i feel like it's just a cute run around bag for the summer the spring and the summer this is very much on trend you know the little bags that go under your um, under your arm and any other stories usually makes a very quality bag so I'm assuming that this black part we're seeing is leather it's even a cute little bag for vacation for going out to eat when you're on vacation you no know, for dinner etc etc and I actually believe I showed you these bags before I'm not a hundred percent sure but I know that they are 100% leather and, and Other Stories does bags very well for a decent price. They're giving me Bottega, they're giving me Very Right Now, they're giving me quality and they're also really giving me timeless. They will not go out of style for a very long time, so maybe not timeless, <laughs> but they are a good quality, quality bag. And if all of that is boring to you and you are more of a trendy girl, these Prada shoes you have most definitely seen and you've also seen how much they cost so if you like this type of shoe you like the color you like the shape you like the trendiness of it but you do not like the price these shoes from Jeffrey Campbell give a very similar vibe and is a great alternative to the Prada ones these from Jeffrey Campbell about hundred and fifty something dollars but the ones from Prada are much more expensive staying with green I actually showed you guys another ASOS bag last week. Um, it was brown suede. I know a few of you got it. 
but if you just don't like brown and you're not into those neutral colors this suede one from asos in this beautiful sage green is a great option again it's a big bag very much on trend right now you could put your life in here <laughs> but i feel like this is a great price um, for this type of bag again if you are a more trendy person or if you just like to insert trends into your wardrobe these Alaya flats have been on your radar you've seen them but you also know that they are $1,250 if you want something very similar but for a, a cheaper price these from Tony Bianco are a great option they also come in white in fact Tony Bianco has a good amount of, of beautiful shoes that give you a good option. Speaking of designer, I wanted to show you guys these Alaya earrings. I know everyone was going crazy for those Bottega earrings and they were gorgeous. Have you seen these Alaya earrings? I am in love. Now, while I will of course be looking for dupes, <laughs> I will also be lusting after these earrings I love jewelry I love a statement earring and whew, these are amazing another thing I wanted to quickly talk about like I said I didn't have a lot or don't have a lot this week because I'm running around I wanted to show you these bags that Louis Vuitton is coming out you get, you get to pre-order them but I wanted to show you them because of the simplicity of these bags Louis Vuitton is very known um, for their logo right so they do have bags that are that are logo less or logo not logo less but they have less logos on them um, but this is very much on trend like this is very much right now on trend and really going with that clean and minimal vibe that's happening right now so I thought this was very interesting to see coming from a brand that is not shy of their logos what do you guys feel about these two bags anyway you guys that's all i have for this week hopefully next time i will have more these are always fun to do let me know if you have found any good deals this week anyway you guys let me know what you're buying for the sephora sale is it warm where you are are you still wearing jackets in spring i was just down south for easter and it was warm i came back home and i now am wearing a wool coat anyway you guys thank you so much for watching if you like the video like comment subscribe share the video and i'll see you in my next video Thank you.